Hello everyone and welcome back to High Mathematics. Today we have an interesting limit. What is the limit as x approaches to 64 of the function square root of x minus 8 all over cubed root of x minus 4? How can you solve this? One way is to use direct substitution. So let's do this at first. So let's put 64 instead of this x. What we will have? Square root of 64, 8, 8 minus 8 will be 0. And in our denom denominator we will have Cubes root of 64, it will be 4, 4 minus 4 will be 0. So as you can see, we have 0 over 0. 0 over 0 is undefined, so we don't know what the values that represent. So what are we going to do in our case? Of course, the main method to solve this, and I recommend this method, is to multiply the top and the bottom by the conjugate of the expression that have this square root. But we have square root and a cube root, moreover, in our denominator, so we need to multiply it by the conjugate two times. So let's multiply it by the conjugate our nominator at first. So we will have limit x approaches to 64 of the function. Let's multiply it by the conjugate. So we will have cubes root of uh, square root of x minus 8 and multiply it by the square root of x plus 8. So we multiply it by the conjugate this expression. But we need to divide by this square root of x plus 8. So as a result, I divide cube x minus 4 and dividing by this square root of x plus 8. So we've done, we can tell it and of course nothing changed if we need this right here. So what are we going to do next? Take a look, we have cube root of x minus 4. So we need to multiply this by the conjugate, but we need to multiply it by the conjugate, not the difference of squares but we need the difference of cubes right here. So we need to multiply it by the conjugate to create a formula. What will be this, what the conjugate it will be? So it will be our conjugate to this expression that had this cubes root, not square root, but this cubes root. It will be the next. Cubes root of x square plus four cubes root of x and plus 16. This will be our conjugate to this cubes root expression. And of course we need to multiply this by the same expression. Cubes root of x square plus 4 cubes root of x and plus 16. Plus 16. Okay, what are we going to do in our case? This situation is good because this will be our formula difference of squares, and this will be our formula as well. This cube root x, x minus 4 and this will be our formula as well. So let's write this right here, so we will have the limit x approaches to 64 of the function. Right here we have not square root of x minus 8, but this will be our formula, so we will have x square minus b square, so we will have x square minus 64. Let's write this right here. x minus 64. And of course we multiply by this conjugate expression, because we can't multiply this expression with none of this right here, so we just write it in our nominator. Cubes root of x square plus 4 times cubes root of x and plus 16. But if we look to our denominator, we will have our formula. This and this create our formula. It will be equal to x minus 64. Difference of cubes. This cube root sign will disappear and we will have our formula x cube minus b cube. This is our formula x cube minus b cube. So as a result, we will have x minus 64. Of course, we need to multiply by this because we cannot create a conjugate formula with none of this expression, square root of x plus 8. And now, take a look right here. We can cancel these expressions that give us undefined answer. So x minus 64 and x minus 64 we can cancel. As a result, we will have interesting expression, limit x approaches to 64, or write this limit right here. Oh, I write this 
fraction right here of this function cubes root of x square plus 4 cubes root of x and plus 16 all over square root of x plus 8. So let's put this 64 right here so as a result we will have in our nominator we will have 16 plus it will be 16 as well and plus 16 all over square root of 64 it will be 8 8 plus 8 will be 16 we will have 48 over 16 it will be 3 and this will be our answer this will be our limit if you have any question, if you have any suggestion, yeah, I know this a little bit complicated because we need to multiply by the conjugate. This conjugate formula is difference of squares. A square minus B square, I write it right here. And this formula will be difference of cubes. So this is a little bit complicated than this. Difference of cubes, A cube minus B cube. So this parenthesis will be a little bit not the same as right here because we need to create the formula difference of cubes. If you have any question, if you have any suggestion, write a suggestion in the comment, write a question in the comment. It will be really interesting to read it. Put a thumbs up, subscribe for more videos. I really appreciate it and see you in the next videos.